talk about the banquet, we mean this structure, which it's a little untidy. We still have our winter decorations up from Alban Arthan Festival, which is Light of Arthur, you know, kind of Welsh Christmas festival. Back there, that pile of trailer contraptions are trebuchet, which we don't need unless we're gonna lob stuff at people across the street, which we're not gonna do. So this is a forge area, and uh, we're gonna be doing some glass work and some copper tinkering as well. So anyway, when we talk about the banquet, this is the banquet in here. It has four fireplaces, there's Ruby. Uh, there's four fireplaces where we can cook food, hang around, be comfy, fugly chairs. You know, part of what we like to do is decorate things, add color to the canvas. You know, authentically smoked canvas. We sew and make all of our tents except the teepee. We had made that. We are planning on making a teepee for Draco sometime coming up here. So, anyway, when we talk about the banquet hall tent, that's what we're talking about. And it gets really warm and really happy really fast. And we left a bag of peanuts out. So this tent is a tent I'll be using later this year. It's called an officer's tent. And in here, Brenda's gonna set up her sewing tent. Then we have two of these tents in the in the guild that we've made. But like I said, we like to to decorate, put up flagpoles and whatnot. Uh, one of our most popular tents we're making and giving out plans for now. So if you want plans, just contact us and we'll email them to you, whatever. This is just a single pole pyramid and it's decorated out and we added a fly to the front of it. We field tested this one at a rendezvous last year and we we're very happy with this setup. So you have the front area to keep the rain off, whatever, and then you have your back sleeping area. I don't know what I'm filming because it's very bright out now. So the sun's coming up over the hill now. It just barely passes over. I have hills to the south and it just barely supplies. So this is my front field. And the kids stay up in the house most of the time and I like that. But until I start traveling to events and stuff, this is where we'll base everything out of. Outdoor fire circle. I'm also gonna be doing some work in my workshop, which is that building there. And there's archery ranges there, pins and such up that way. So Kyrell helped me build this at Como Rendezvous, which is a rack for my necklaces and string goods. We used horseshoe nails for the hangers, because we thought that was a good aesthetic for what we were doing. Anyhow, there's our teepee. It's a 16-footer. We got it from a man we know named Bear Claw. He was changing how he was gonna do things and we uh, ended up with this TP, which is so it's kind of nice to know where stuff comes from. Anyway, uh, holiday decorations on my medicine pole, drying out a piece of wool. Bear Claw left the poles raw and ragged and I kind of like that. I like it that they're not all the same length and. They still show some bark and stuff up top. They're all smooth down low. But as you can see, it doesn't come all the way down. So we're gonna sew an extension for that. So anyhow, this is the outside of the banquet. Those are reflectors. These tents were designed serendipitously at an event where I was gonna have a fire in the end of one of these tents, but I didn't have these reflectors on at that time. But this person put this brand new nylon tent like right next to me and I'm like, well, I don't want to get sparks on that. So what can I do? And I came up with a reflector. We ended up with some bad weather. And lo and behold, it really worked out uh, to be something we have kept doing for the last six years. Anyway, 
that's part of the camp where I'll be at for the next few weeks.